Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been asked to find the channel length modulation parameter or the channel length modulation coefficient for the given NMOS transistor. So if you have followed the previous video on the main channel, then we have already discussed about the channel length modulation. And in that video, we have seen that for the fixed value of the voltage VGS, the drain current ID is also a function of voltage VDS. That means as we increase the voltage VDS, then the drain current ID also changes. And considering the effect of this channel length modulation, this drain current ID can be given as A times VGS minus VT whole square times 1 plus lambda times VDS, where this lambda is the channel length modulation coefficient. So here we have been given that for the value of voltage VDS is equal to 4 volt, the drain current ID is equal to 2 milliampere. And whenever this VDS is increased to 5 volt, then the drain current ID is increased to 2.05 milliampere. And during this, the voltage VGS is kept constant. So let's call this VDS as VDS1, and at that time, this drain current is equal to ID1. And whenever this VDS2 becomes 5 volt, then this drain current ID becomes 2.05 milliampere. So from this we can say that this ID1 is equal to A times VGS minus VT whole square times 1 plus 4 times lambda. Similarly, this ID2 is equal to A times VGS minus VT whole square times 1 plus phi lambda. So to find the value of this lambda, let us take the ratio of these two equations. That means ID1 divided by ID2 is equal to 1 plus 4 lambda divided by 1 plus phi lambda. That means 2 milliampere divided by 2.05 milliampere is equal to 1 plus 4 lambda divided by 1 plus phi lambda. Or if we further simplify it, then we can say that 1.0 to 5 times 1 plus 4 lambda that is equal to 1 plus phi lambda. That means 1.0 to 5 plus 4.1 lambda that is equal to 1 plus phi lambda. Or 0 0.0 to phi is equal to 0.9 lambda. That means the value of lambda is equal to 0 0.025 divided by 0 0.9 that is equal to 0 0.0 to double seven and the unit of this lambda will be equal to voltage inverse. So from this we can say that for the given NMOS transistor the value of this channel net modulation parameter is equal to 0 0.0 to double seven and hence for the given question the answer is 0 0.0 to double seven. 